Hey guys, my name is Misha. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. If you are a returning subscriber, thank you for stopping back again. And if you are new to my channel, I'd like to welcome you. In today's video, I'm going to be using a lot of um, NYX products that I've never used before. Um, these are new to me, but not new to NYX. So I'm going to be using the NYX products to achieve this full face about... I would say 90% of the products that I use. So if you want to see how I achieve this face and the products that I use, stay tuned. But before you leave, please don't forget to like, share the video with someone, subscribe to the channel, turn on your post notification bell so you know when I have my next upload, and I'll see you at the end of the video. Okay guys, so everything I'm going to use today is going to be 90% from NYX. So, I have a few things that I had already and a few things that I purchased. Well, a lot of things that I purchased. They're not new to NYX, but they're new to me. So, I'm going to be creating a whole look. I have some palettes. I have some primers. I have some, con not concealer. Have you ever been to the store? I know I bought a concealer. I can't find it. So, I'm just going to have to... You know make use of what I have alrighty guys so the first thing that we're going to do um, I already prime my did my brows I use the NYX micro brow pencil you guys are familiar with this one in I use black I like to use black for me I think the espresso one is a little bit too light you know but I like the dark one but you can use the brown one okay so I use this one to fill in my brow now, I'm going to use this primer. Let me get the name. It's called the NYX White Pearl, okay? It comes in this little white little jar here. All right, so that's what I'm gonna be using. I'm gonna put a little bit over my lid. I'm gonna use this little fluffy brush. I've never used this primer, so we're going to see how it works. Um, I don't know if you're supposed to set it, but I don't think I am. Okay. So I'm just going to put it over the concealer that I have there already. Alrighty, so I want to see how it feels when it dries down. you're supposed to use it with a brush but I'm using a brush the palettes that I have I have these two palettes um, it's called the NYX ultimate edition petite palette all right so I have this one I have these nice springy colors and I have this one show you guys properly so these are the colors for this one alrighty and and these are the colors for the other one alrighty so I think I'm gonna play in both of them all right, so this one has been looking at me, right? So this is like a dark purple shade, this one. So I'm gonna take that one and I'm gonna put it in my outer corner. I'm gonna use this little brush. I'm just gonna pick it up and push it in, All right? And of course you guys know I always do one one brow with you guys and one off camera you know save some time let me zoom in let me zoom in so you can be all up in my space let me move the mirror a little bit closer so i won't have to look away too much okay it's nice and pigmented um this one was about Seven, seven ninety nine for this palette. Not bad, right? Okay. 
So I'm liking the pigmentation of it. Blending in nicely. So I'm kind of dragging it out a little bit. Almost like I'm doing a wing with the shadow. That's how I like to do it for my eye shape. All right, so that's good. I wanna make sure that I don't have any creasing. I don't know how this is supposed to work. All right, next color that I'm gonna use is, um, I'm gonna try this light hmm I'm gonna use this light purple right here this one when you touch it like it's like the color changes a little bit so I want to see how it looks next to this one mm. you know what I'm not gonna do purple I'm gonna do blue let's be different right let's do blue I'm gonna get this blur like brush it's not really flat right and I'm gonna use that one I'm gonna pick it up and just pack it there let's see how it looks okay it doesn't show as light as it does in the palette Lately, I've been using a lot of these light colors, bright colors, I should say. Okay, that's not bad. Uh, not as light as I would want it to be. that first one that I said I was was going to use which is like a the light pink one and I'm putting that one in the middle right here you know guys I actually <laughs> I actually touched by mistake I didn't mean to but guess what we're gonna have to continue I'm gonna turn I'm using the same brush actually I'm just turning it over on the other side so let's put that one in between those two Look springy or no? I think it does. I really only wanted to use two colors, but then I picked up that one, so we're just gonna have to keep going. All right, let me get another brush and I'm gonna go in with that blue one again, right over here. It's just funny how it looks like this. And then it comes out darker. That's very strange, but that's okay. We'll make it work. So I wanna go back with another brush and get that dark purple color again and just stamp it in some more. Okay, guys, you know sometimes you're doing these looks, you don't you don't really know what you know you don't really know what you're gonna do. But you know what? You just go with the flow, right? And just do whatever comes natural. So let's do that pink color some more to brighten it up. So we're liking how that's looking. Alrighty, now, now I'm just gonna get the back part of this one and I'm just going to blend out the edge of the blue one and the pink one. All right guys, so I need a color for the top part. So I'm gonna get this 
light pink this light pink one and I'm going to blend out the edge of all three of them you know I'm really not trying to make this look complicated but um you know all right I'm gonna get into that I'm just gonna blend out the edge here like so you know gonna go in circular motions like that just to blow out the edge so it does not have that sharp look you can definitely wear this one for Easter all right I'm gonna go over here too over the other colors too all right see what I'm trying to do right guys kind of raising up my brow so I can get in there it almost look like a rainbow That brush is a little flimsy. Alrighty, this is better. See the difference? Okay. Alrighty, I still want a little bit more of that purple one in the outer corner. Okay, that's good. So I'm gonna step off do the other one and then come back, okay? Okay guys, so I finished my eyes. For some reason, they look like they're not the same color. I think it's just some type of reflection. So we're just gonna go with it, right? But I did use the exact same colors. Now, the next step, I'm going to be trying out this NYX Hydra Touch Primer. This one for a drugstore was a little pricey, it was $14, but you know, I'm gonna go with it. Since I bought it, I have to use it, right? I'm just gonna rub that in. I'm glad that this is kind of hydrating because the foundation that I'm going to be using is a little matte mattish so that's good all right it feels nice not sticky sticky but it feels nice all right now I've had this foundation for a while uh, but it's still good this is the NYX can't stop won't stop foundation and um, warm mahogany guys are familiar with this one I try to wipe off the bottle as much as I could so for some reason the pumps not working so I'm just gonna take it out and just put it directly on my face last time I checked this was my color it looks kind of light on camera but we know how these lights make everything look you know so alrighty so First thing I'm going to do is get my little brush here and just put a little bit over my brow to conceal them. I didn't do that step as yet. And I like to do that step. So this step is not necessary, but I just think it makes my brow look nice and sharp. nice and crispy right 
You need a nice flat brush for this step to make sure that they come out really pretty. Ready? This is the brush that I use to conceal underneath my brow also. See, it's nice and flat. I'm going to take this brush and brush out my or blend out my foundation. What do you guys think of the eyes? Let me know. I need you guys to leave me comments, right? Let me know if you're liking what I'm doing. And I know this foundation looks lighter, but it will all come together. I wanted to put on a color that matched my um, my dress, but clearly that didn't happen. Or something that could blend in with the dress, but it's okay. Alright, so I'm just going to have to use uh, my Sephora Best Skin Ever Concealer 34.5 to conceal under my eyes. I'm going to do down the bridge of my nose. I'm going to do this forehead. And I'm going to do a dab above the lip All right so I'm gonna let this sit there for a second and I did buy this um, NYX wonder stick highlight and contour stick All right it looks like that so I'm gonna use that to contour my face ready so there's a lighter part, which I guess that could be for your under eye, but that's too dark for me. And then there's a darker part. So, what color is this? It's called Deep, deep Something. I'm gonna. Everything I use, I'll make sure I list it down. And this is not really dark, not dark at all. You could barely see it, right? Well, we're gonna have to make it work, guys. We're gonna have to make it work. I guess I can use the contour my nose since it's not dark. Yeah, this is really not dark. Like I would like my contour to be. Okay, boo. I'm gonna have to make it work. I'm gonna use this brush here that I have. It's a NYX brush. Not a NYX, this is an e.l.f. brush. NYX is on my mind. All right, guys, you can't really see it a lot, but let's just go with it, right? Blend that under my chin. Not a deep contour. It's all right. All right, I'm gonna use my um, Shein sponge to blend out my 
concealer. Bridge off the nose. And let's do the under eye. I'm just going to use my foundation brush just to sharpen up the edge of my um, my eyeshadow like a light if you want like that chiseled look you need a shade darker but I didn't see one so I just got this shade but you know I didn't have to use it today but I just wanted to try okay no um, NYX I did not see they probably have one, but I didn't see it at the store that I went to. So, I bought a powder, which is this. It's called the Can't Stop, Won't Stop Magnifying Powder. Not magnifying, mattifying powder. All right, and the color that I have is golden. So, it looks like this. Right? and that's like in the shape of a heart so I'm gonna take my beauty sponge blend out under my eyes first I'm gonna use my beauty sponge and press it in there right, get a good amount and use that to set my under eye I normally use a translucent powder but we're doing things different today right looking uh, I think I like the color take it down the side my nose not bad at all I think it's bright enough I like to set my smile lines put some on the forehead here all right let's put some more down under the eye okay let's make this a little neater Not bad, not bad, not bad, not bad. Now dust that off later. So 
So I'm gonna use um, this this palette, and I'm gonna do an under eye color with the dark purple one. Since we're doing a lot at the top, we'll do a little bit less at the bottom. Just to smoke up my bottom lash line. That's pretty. Nice and smoky. I guess I'll keep on my headband, right? Because it's tying in with my look. I like that. What do you guys think? Alright, that's good. Now I'm going to line my water line with this NYX um, eye pencil in black. Just a regular pencil. With that extra smokiness, you know. Bonita. Okay, so I bought another powder, but this is the same mattifying powder like the um, lighter one that I just used. And this one is deep. So this one was golden. The other one for the other eye was golden. This one is deep. So I'm going to use this to set my face. And I'm going to use this nice fluffy brush. I got this from Amazon and I'm going to set my face with that. Okay. down my nose with the, with the powder. I'll just use whatever is left over on the sponge. Alrighty. Not bad, right? Alright, let me just dust let me just dust off this powder from underneath my eye. I could just use a sponge and like push it in all the way until it disappears. I think that's what I'll do today. All right, let's just push that in until it's gone, right? Instead of brushing it off, since it's not really the loose powder, all right, I'll push it in like that until it's gone. I like this powder. All right. Now, the only thing that I'm going to use now, I'm going to use this contour palette that I have. This is from Fruits, Fruit Cosmetics contour palette because I don't have contour palette from NYX. And I'm going to use, I'm going to go into these, these two shades to contour my face. And I'm going to use this brush. Since that other contour stick didn't really do a lot for me. Right. I'm going to use the darker shade. So this palette comes with um, some contours and then also a highlighter. Alrighty, so I'm going to contour my face. I love the shade. It's not too light. It's not too dark. It's just perfect. go under this chin here okay all right let me just get a little brush and run it down my nose as well like 
the star up here stamp it right up here in the front and then just drag it down like that So I would say this um, face is pretty affordable. Like you know, if you want to start your makeup kit, or if you want to learn how to, you know, just to do your face, you could start out with NYX. They have some nice products, as you can see. The palettes were pigmented. Alrighty. I also bought this. This is um, the Born to Glow Liquid Illuminator. Right, so it comes in this little back. Um, yeah. Let's see if there's a color. It doesn't say, but you know, everything that I'm using, I'm going to put it down. So I'm just gonna put it on the back of my hand. I've, I don't really use liquid stuff. So let's try it out. I'm gonna use this um, Real Techniques cousin brush. This is from Shein, and I'm just going to blend it out a little bit like that on the back of my hand and I'm just gonna take a little bit and I'm gonna put it and make sure that it, it's not too wet where it's gonna lift up my foundation that's pretty okay I like it I blend out this one. What do you guys think? Um, it's looking a little patchy on this side. This side was good, but this side. All right, let's. Let's use my sponge to fix her up, right? Or my powder brush. Okay, then I'll do it again. So I think you need to let it dry down a little bit on your hand first and then go in with it. You know what? I'm not even gonna try it down the bridge of my nose. I'm going to use this one that's in this palette, even though it's like a champagne looking color. To go down the bridge of my nose with it and my inner corner just to be on the safe side I'm gonna use that and then brush some across the tip blend this out with my finger Okay guys, so they didn't have a, I didn't see a mascara, right? So I'm just going to go ahead off, um, put on some lashes and then I'll come back to do my lips, right? I'll be right back. These are some Ardell lashes that I put on, not too much, just you know, a little bit. And now I'm going to set my face using the um, NYX First Base Premier Primer Spray. And that's how the bottle looks. Right, let me spray my face. Okay. It's a little, the mist is a little big. It's like it's going everywhere. All right, guys, so now I'm going to do my lips. All righty, I have this NYX pencil that I had already. This is called, what's the color? Espresso. All right, I'm gonna line my lips. Okay. 
and I have this lipstick here it's called okay the lipstick is called is NYX suede matte lipstick nice little heart it's called Stockholm it's the, um, like a nice a nudie color you know since my eyes are saying a lot let's try to tone it down I always go back over my lips with my liner nice and it feels re it's feel it feels really nice and this is the NYX butter gloss and this is creme brulee yeah creme brulee I know you guys know this one already and I'm just gonna put it over that lipstick it down a little bit okay alrighty there you have it so now I need a little color for the most of these colors are like um a few of them are shimmer so I'm gonna take this peachy looking one this one here and I'm gonna put it a little pop in my inner corner because I need a little something in there it's looking kind of lonely right all right so let me just take this color hopefully I don't know, is it shimmer enough all right let's see hopefully it doesn't fall everywhere and just put that right here all right guys I know this this look is saying a lot but you know it's springtime Let's just play in some makeup, why don't we? Okay. Not really shimmery, shimmery. Let me just brush off this right here. And I'm gonna put on some um, mascara under my bottom lashes using my Too Faced Better Than Sex. Like I said, this is like mostly an NYX face but for whatever I don't have I just um you know go in with something that I already have here you know what I mean and that is my face what do you guys think do you love it? I think she's, I know, I think it came up cute. I think it's cute. And there you have it, guys. We have come to the end of the video. I hope that you enjoy this tutorial of me using mostly the NYX products. I love everything that I use. I love the shadows. They're pig pigmented. Um, the primer was good, but I don't know how they would look if I didn't use the primer, so I like that. I like the feeling of the, the face primer. I love the lipstick. I love the under eye pow um, powder. I love the one that I use as the face powder all as well. Set of spray feel nice. Only thing I wasn't too happy with was the contour slash highlight stick. The, pig, the colors weren't pigmented enough for me, but the face turned out pretty nice. So I hope you guys enjoy, you know, watching. You know, I just wanted to do, um, you, you know, try some new NYX products that I haven't had a chance to try. So, there's my face up close. You know, I hope this inspire you to go out and get a few things for the spring and summer coming up so you can, you know, recreate this look or something similar. Okay, guys. So, in my last video, guys, um, I did ask you guys to say a prayer for my mom because she had a stroke. 
unfortunately she um, did not make it she passed away on Tuesday and today is Thursday I'm filming this video I'm just trying to keep myself and my mind busy this is a sad time for my family so I'm just asking you guys to continue praying for us right um, to get through this and we will get through it you know I miss my mom um, you know she's in Jamaica so soon I'm going to have to be going down for the funeral but I just wanted to update you guys because a lot of you guys send out you know your prayers for her so you know unfortunately she's not here with us anymore but I know she's watching over me all right guys um, if you like this video give it a thumbs up don't forget to share it with someone um, subscribe to the channel and also turn on your post notification bell so you know when I have my next upload. I just want to thank you guys for your support, for continued support on my channel. And I'll see you in my next video. Take care guys.